So, AJ, you were two points away from your third straight 30 point game. Did you know that when you came out? Or? Um, no, I didn't know how many points I scored, but yeah, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't know going in then? Excuse me? You didn't know going out of the game? That no, I had no idea. Actually, you had a little dance there at the end of the second quarter there. What precipitated all that? It was just a jump ball and just got a little, I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Each one of you, how about Sydney's and Embarada at the end there? Mm. That had to be a long time. Mm -hmm. That was very exciting to watch. Yep. I don't know, we all got out of our chairs and got hyped. I mean, she had three straight threes and... A minute? I was like, wow. That that reminded me of T-Mac when he scored how many <laughs> points in 15 seconds? But that was good. That was very great to watch. They were with that Stephanie Watts. Uh, do you think that made a big difference in the way they came at Jill? I think so, yeah. She's a big part of their team. She's a great player. She's one of their top scorers, so it definitely made a huge difference. Having a game like this, um, you know, big, you know, I know North Carolina is down a little bit, and they uh, we're without one of their top scorers, but being able to beat them by 30 uh, today, you know, how big is that for uh, for you guys moving forward? I mean, it's big. Uh, just beating anyone in the ACC is huge because every team is good from top to bottom. So just getting a win on our home court is it's good. 42 to 16 advantage in the paint was that one of the pre game things that Coach Wall stressed to y'all scoring banger. He stressed that a lot. The whole staff did because they play mainly guards and their post players are still kind of guards as well. So Coach Wall said he wanted us to get a few paint touches as well. So that's what we were trying to do. No threes in the first half. Was that by design also? Or? No, my shots just wasn't falling, but it's okay. You know, I trusted the process and, you know, kept playing hard. Mm -hmm. It feels good. Um, she's a great player, and just just to have her on the court is is amazing. Are, are you still thinking you're a guard? Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm a guard. <laughs> still, he moved me to the floor. I said, nope, can't do this. It's like I'm joking. I did, but like, I'm still a guard. That meant a lot, you know, just to know they fought hard for yeah. their life, you know, that's very special. So I felt great. I mean, it was it, it was exciting. Yeah. It was. I'm just going off what Asia said. Just to see like them fight and beat breast cancer and just to be out here and supporting us too. It's just amazing. And I'm glad they came out and and helped us. Was it a little emotional to hear some of their stories? Yes, very. During uh, pregame, it was on the big screen. I was hearing it, I was like, wow, like that's touching. I was very, very emotional, very. Senior night Thursday night on a very good Virginia team coming in here. Uh, what takeaways do you take out of this as you get ready for Virginia? Playing hard for the 40 minutes. Um, we showed we had lapses in our game on defense where we weren't doing what we needed to do, um, and offensively we weren't executing or looking for our shooters. Um, so I think to beat this Virginia team because it was a close game, we went into overtime last time we played them. Um, they they just beat Florida State, I believe. So. Um, it's going to be a great game. It's our senior night, so we got to go out with a bang for our seniors and just give it our all and play for 40 minutes. How much are you guys watching the standings at all? I think right now you guys are are in fifth. You know, it's still a game behind North Carolina State for uh, for fourth place, that double bye. Does that, you know, does that mean something to you guys to, you know, work to get that, to try to get that double bye, or is it just, you know, get to the tournament already? Um, well, every game matters, but um, we're just hoping we we got to secure our spot first for the NCAA tournament for getting home court advantage. But, of course, you know, we want a four seed, so we get a double bye in the ACC tournament. But if it doesn't fall our way, we're just going to play hard for those games that we have to play back-to-back. -back. I think it's three back-to-back. -back. So um, we just got to continue to fight and, and just 
they are. Yeah. Almost 10,000 in here for this game this afternoon. Steve, Rocking. Can you talk just a little bit about your love for these fans. Our fans are great. You know, before I came here, that was one of the things that stood out for the fans. They're, they're amazing. I mean, just to see, you know, the whole gym packed with pink, that was great. Yeah. I love the fans, too. Oh. <laughs> That's the reason why I came here too. You don't see this a lot at uh, other schools that we visit or that you just hear about, like top schools. They're, our fan base is just amazing, and we just want to thank them for coming out every game and showing their support and getting loud for us yeah. when we're up or even when we're down. They're a big part of uh, our momentum. Cute. Swaggy. Yeah. Cute swaggy, yeah. He got swag. He does. <laughs> he's the best, I'm going to say, he's the best dressed coach on, on the coach staff. So, Ira, I'm sorry. But on the staff, I'm going to say on the staff. I'm going to say on the, I'm say on the staff. Hey, he is a mean jump shot, by the way. Ira, yep, one on one. Hey, let him know. Ira, I got you. Got you. <laughs> Do you think Justin Gillespie could shut him down on one on one? What do you think, Ira? All right, I got you. I got you. Get buckets. Yeah. <laughs> How many players did it take to hold Jessica Lilly back, though? <laughs> oh, I, I held her back, actually, when she got the jump ball. You talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I grabbed her. She was a little rowdy. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, 5'2", get, they get rowdy, too. No matter how tall you are, they get rowdy. She, so, you know, I just grabbed her. Come on, Jess. We got this. But, yeah, great kid. <laughs> Great podcast. <laughs> I sound like a parent, huh? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs>